Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and receive tonight. Let's sing. Arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. out to him he will meet your every need he will respond to that cry in your heart he will touch you and set you free so right Fear and doubt come against your mind. Has your faith been sorely tried? Tonight in Dallas, lift up your hands and your eyes. Here cometh your help. His name is Jesus for you. He has died. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of
hands to heaven and say, Pastor, this is John, and he has had Lyme disease That's for two serious. years. The pain has been unbearable. He could not move or function correctly at all. And his precious daughter said, Dad, let's go to the miracle service. God will heal you. Come up here, sir. And guess what? So of course. God healed him as he came in the door, Pastor. No pain anywhere in his body. He can do all the things he could not do. No pain whatsoever at all, period? No, sir. I have no pain now. And I was with pain for two years. And I just... Could not get any relief. Doctors would, they tried many things. And I was, a, I thought I would be in a wheelchair if this did not stop. Jesus, what can we say but thank you for this? Dear God, the anointing I'm feeling here. She had broken toes on both feet. Her rotator cuff was torn in three places. She could not lift her arm like that. She could not swing her arm around. God is a healing God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, the platform is so small here, but we're doing the best we can. Help them up, help them up, help the lady and the gentleman. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the God. Dear God. Three people walked her in because she couldn't do it alone. <laughs> now she stands with Somebody Jesus. say hallelujah, you are the God. That he let me you are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. I see that. You, you sent, sent your word. Just give it, give it back to her. She doesn't need that thing anymore. Joan, what, what happened to the lady? This Just woman gently behind me. You are the God. Quick, yeah. Pain, pain, bring joint it, bring it up disease, here. 
for two years in her right hip. She came with her handsome you husband. Are the Lord. And God healed both of them. What was both he of healed of? No what pain. was he what was healed of? Had pain in his body and his side and dizzy. Oh lady, that's marvelous on him. Come, 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 brother. He said, oh, my God. <laughs> you are the God Help her up. Did you feel that? Oh, yes, he. Woo! Woo, 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 My You said you Why did you say, oh, my God, for? And healed my disease. You had kidney problems. He put his hands. He put his hands on my. You did. He did last night before the service, and when he put his hands there, I felt some heat through my coat, and I uh, went to praising the Lord. And as I praised the Lord, both my palms went to burning, and I just take my healing now that the Lord is healed. Jesus, I give you praise. You sent your you know, they received, they received so easy tonight. Joan, what happened to the girl? Help them down, guys. Pastor, this is bulging disc. And Pardon? Deteriorated and bulging disc in the neck and in the lower back. Severe, severe pain. Lady, the anointing that I feel. Come here, come here. You feel that? You sent your word and heal my disease. You sent your word. You sent your word and heal. Ringing in her right ear for one year. It's all gone. What, what she was deaf? Ringing. Oh, ringing, ringing. Ringing, yes. In the right ear for you one year, gone. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. What, what happened to the man? Severe back Guys, problems help him down. for one year. Bring him up Disc here. Disc ruptured. One go, year. Go, 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 go. All the pain is gone. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the God. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. That's the promise of our wonderful Lord to you. No matter what you're going through, God is on the throne and all is well and he still hears and answers prayer and to Jesus be all the glory. Whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be delivered. Remember his word. He said, I shall never leave thee. I shall never forsake thee. I am with you till the end of the ages. You know, he's more real to us than the world itself. Jesus is more real than the air around you, more real than the person, people next to you. And all you have to do is just call upon his name. His name brings him on the scene. You saw today a beautiful anointing on the part of God from Mesquite, Texas. What a wonderful time we had there. And by the way, I'm doing more and more of these meetings. I'm going to come to your city. If you want me to come to your city, well, just send me an email or call us, write us, and we'll come. I promise you, I'm going to come. In fact, I'm, I'm really wanting to come to the Northwest. I ha haven't been in Seattle and Tacoma a long time. I'm going to do a big meeting here in Southern California. We're also going to do some, and I'm coming to Atlanta, I'm coming to Florida, and a whole lot of places. But Toronto is this week, so while you're watching this program, I'm at the Catch the Fire Church. That's 4,000 seats, open seats. Make sure to come uh, September 17, 18, which is happening now. 
Then Montreal, I'm there this weekend at the Center Evangelique Universal de Montreal. Hope I said it right. <laughs> 19th and 20th, this Saturday, Sunday. But I want to pray with you right now. I'm going to believe God with you to meet every need in your life. Remember, remember, Jesus said, if two agree, it'll be done. There's tremendous power in agreement. Remember Paul and Silas, when they agreed, the jail opened wide. In the upper room, when they agreed, the Holy Spirit came. Even the Lord was looking for agreement in the garden. He said, could you not tear it with me? Because he knew the power there is in agreement, in prayer. There's something that happens in the heavenlies when two agree. And that's what I want to do. I really want to believe God with you right now, that the needs in your life will be met and the God we serve will do it. Never give up. I told you that yesterday. I'm going to tell you again, don't ever give up because when we give up, we lose. All right, God sometimes takes his time. I know, I know. And Jesus mentioned this in Luke. He said, he may tarry, you know, remember the story where he gave about the wicked judge and the lady who went and said, help, help, help. And the Lord gives us a key. He says, even though God will tarry, even though he may wait and you think, you know, he's not listening, he most certainly will do it. And that's in the word. He will and he will do it quickly. He will do it at a time you're not looking for it. Just like this. Never give up. Never. God answered one of my prayers a few days ago. I've been praying five months, five months. And I thought, okay, Lord, I don't think you can answer this one. Without, I'm telling you, just suddenly it happened. I thought, oh, wow, it's happened all my life like that. It's going to happen to you. So don't give up. Promise me, don't give up. Now let's pray. Come on, let's believe God together. You may want to put your hands on the screen if you're looking for a healing. It's not, there's, look, there's nothing on my hands and nothing on the, on the screen. We're just coming into agreement. So just believe God right now, whatever you need, let's believe God. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said if two will agree, you'll do it. We come, Lord, in full agreement because you promised it that every need be met. Lord, whether it be spiritual, whether it be emotional or physical or financial, meet that need right now, blessed, Precious Savior, wonderful Jesus, we love you so much, Lord. Meet that need. We rebuke, I rebuke that problem. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, whom we serve. Right now, Lord, for your glory. There's a lady in deep depression. Dear Lord, my goodness, the Lord has given me your name, Cynthia. In the name of Jesus, be free from that depression. In the name of the Lord, Cynthia, be free today. Someone, uh, I, I see your ear infected. God is healing it. Thank you, Lord. Cancer in the liver, I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. As a man, I see you in a brace on your right leg. Uh, wow. Uh, Almo, I think you're Spanish. Your name is Almo. Wow. I never got a name like Almo. The Lord just said his name is Almo. And you've done something to your right leg. You feel some heat going through it. That's the power of God, my brother. Just receive it, receive it, receive it. And there's another lady watching you with a, with a, 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 a brace around your neck. Are you injured your neck? Dear Jesus. Okay, just I'm going to stop before I pray. You just said, I don't believe that. Lady, I see you wearing a white top, uh, glasses. You have a bun on your head back there. You are blondish, kind of blondish, uh, brownish hair. You're in your early 60s. And if you look to your left on your, your, uh, on your couch, there's a cat sitting there next to you. Now, does this convince you I'm talking to you or not? Lady, the Lord is healing your neck, okay? How much more do you want for God to show me that? Because you just won't believe it. Father, in Jesus' name, I think she... I think she does believe it now, especially when I said the cat. Lord, in Jesus' name, heal that dear lady completely in Jesus' name. Now, you're feeling something on your neck. You won't need that brace anymore. Go to your doctor and be made whole. I'm having fun with this because I can see that in the spirit. Okay, receive your healing. But now remember, the greatest miracle is not your healing. It's your salvation. 
If you do not know the Lord, whoever you may be out there, just pray, just say, dear Jesus. And look how much we need this right now with all the crazy stuff going on out there. Just say, dear Jesus, come on, say, dear Jesus, I need you, Lord. Forgive my sin and come into my heart. Save my soul and make me whole. Wash me now with your blood. Amen and amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, I want to send you a book called The Greatest Miracle. You can get it free, in fact, on our website. So God can bless your life. I'm having a day of prayer for you at the end of September because it starts a blessed season of the Jubilee. This is the 40th Jubilee since the, since the Lord was on the earth and the 70th since Joshua walked the promised land. It's an amazing time right now. So make sure to send in your prayer request. A powerful day of prayer at the end of September that the announce I'll tell you about. And again, I'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, all is well and your miracle is on the way, guaranteed. Bye-bye. On Monday, September 28th, Pastor Benny Hinn will conduct a powerful atonement season prayer service. He'll be joined by anointed intercessors to agree with you for the blessings of the atonement to come upon you and your family during this year of Jubilee. September 28th is just a few days away, so mail your prayer requests quickly and believe God for miracles in your life. In a few hours from now, we're going to experience it. The Day of Atonement, the blood moon, the beginning of seven new years, which I believe are going to be good. We are going to experience Jubilee, which, is mean, which just simply means God gives it back. Have you responded? How do I respond? God says to stand before me with an offering. The seven blessings are you get a double portion. In fact, I wrote about it. You get financial abundance. All of it is proven in the second chapter of Joel. There is restoration. There is miracles. There is the divine presence of God. Your family is touched and there is deliverance. Let me tell you, let me tell you, out of all of the atonements that you and I have lived through in the last 30, 40 years, none is like this in the next few hours. It is, it, is, it is with joy, it is with urgency within me to tell you something huge is about to happen to planet Earth. It's not going to happen to everybody. It won't happen random to everybody. It only happens to those that take their right hand and their left hand, and God says, do not stand empty-handed. The person that does not give the atonement offering is the person that is exempt because God says, on this day, which God said, this is my day, Stand before me, Deuteronomy 16, 16, and do not stand empty-handed. You haven't done it. You've heard about the blood moons. You've, hear, you've heard about even people talking about great things are going to happen to the earth. I am telling you that you are to hear this. Your seasons are going to change. A miracle is getting ready to happen to your body. Your children, you're coming out of debt. You must. I, I provoke you with the Word of God and excite you at the same time. You must hear what I'm saying. This is a moment in history. Here's what I'm asking you to do. Go directly to the website of Benny Hinn. This is your day. Get on the phone. The phone number's on the screen. Tell them in my right hand and my left hand, I am going to have an offering. I'm going to send it in. I'm going to get it on the altar. Because when that hits the altar, your new season starts. There's a miracle coming to your body, your children. I cannot tell you fast enough. I cannot tell you with every bit of excitement within me how urgent this is. Do it now. The clock is ticking and your blessing is on the other side of the offering. $300, $150, whatever, whatever, whatever. In the name of Jesus, God, release, release that person so that when they send it into this is your day, Pastor Him puts it on the altar, and God, the new season begins in their life. Do it now. God bless you.
Steve Muncy's important book, Seven Blessings of the Atonement, provides significant details of the specific supernatural atonement blessings promised in Joel 2 for those who will observe this day with an offering as God commanded. The blessings include a double portion, financial abundance, restoration, miracles, God's divine presence, blessings upon your family, and deliverance. When you obey and honor God by sending your atonement offering of $300 or the amount He lays on your heart, be sure to request your copy of Seven Blessings of the Atonement. Call, write, or send your gift online today. Pastor Benny invites you to join over two and a half million Facebook users around the world who like Benny Hinn Ministries. Go to the ministry website and click the Facebook link. And while you're there, be sure to start following him on Twitter. He personally sends regular ministry updates and inspiring messages. So connect with Pastor Benny today.